This is Jesus Manuel Mena Garza. I hope you're having a super fantastic day. I do travel, photography, and RV reviews. Today I'm checking out a Flagstaff Microlite 25RKS. A very nice travel trailer indeed. I really like this travel trailer. It's in my top five of something I would like to buy. Yes, I would like to buy this. It has big gray and freshwater tanks. It is a rear kitchen and has uh, two slides, one for the dinette and one for the uh, ward, as they call it, or the uh, closet. So I like the fact that it's under 5,500 pounds, under 26 feet. It has a shower miser water saver and two fantastic uh, recliners in the, this model, isn't it? which are an option. Of course, it has Wi-Fi Ranger, Wi-Fi Booster, Sky 4. Wow. And again, you can pause this video at any time to look at the specifications, the layout, the stuff that I just talked about, okay? I saw this unit at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Fort Worth, Texas. Again, they are the nicest people in the universe. They are very nice people down there. So here's a view of the front, and here's a... Uh, View the propane tanks, they have two 30 pounders. Very nice. And they have this automotive style windshield right up front. Here's a disclaimer read it at your own uh, peril. Again, this unit has two slides, and here's some of the specs. You can pause again in this video and uh, say, Hey, oh, I didn't know that. So this has gigantic storage up front, gigantic storage. I organized the tools right there, so they look pretty nice and neat. I'm a neat freak, I'm a bit of OCD, I admit it. Let me open up this pouch and show you what's inside. It has a 30 amp cord, it has these uh, barbecue utensils. I don't know what that's for, I don't know. And again, here's some uh, filters, odds and ends, and plastic bags. Now, you can always use a plastic bag, can't you? <laughs> And, uh, we, you know, some of the hardware you're going to attach, the towel rack, which is included. And, of course, this is critical. That is critical. Yes, I put everything away. The uh, first uh, slide-out has Schwintech. Schwintech's, you know, slide mechanisms. And the second one has a rack and pinion because that's a little more hefty. Has a heated underbelly and of course a Torflex suspension, which is always nice. And I do not know what this white one's for. This is something new. I have never seen a white valve like that before. I do not know what it's all about. You're gonna have to talk to your local dealership and ask them. So here's a view of the, of the back, and there's the water heater, and the 30 amp connection, etc., etc., and some of the terminations, and the shower, the tire is covered very nicely, and of course a ladder to the roof. And as a city water connection, and all the little lights in and out are LED. Very nice. And that's where you can put an observation or a backup camera. It's your choice. Here's a view of the roof, and you can see the max air fan, the air conditioner, and the Wi-Fi system, and of course the TV antenna. Let me share a view of the other side of the travel trailer. There you can see the uh, top of the line steps to get inside. These are super stable. They're very nice. The more rides step above. Very nice. And of course, this is a Flagstaff 25RKS. It has uh, aluminum rims. That's the back of the refrigerator. And up there, you got a couple speakers and a yellow uh, light to illuminate the great outdoors. That's where you place your uh, you know, table and barbecue grill. And of course, you can put two batteries right there. And of course, the propane tank. And this has solar on the side by Gore Power. This is where you connect your uh, solar suitcase. And the dry rate of this specific unit was 5,350 pounds. Here's a shot of the uh, power tongue jack. Uh, the red button, I think it's the light. If you're an internet power user, you'll appreciate this Wi-Fi Ranger. 
a definite nice addition to this travel trailer. We're now inside. On the left you can see the uh, storage area and then an oven and some cabinets and to the right some very nice reclining chairs. Let me go play with this stovetop. I'm lifting up the uh, backsplash and behind the backsplash there's an area where you can put some knives. And of course this is a, has a three burner cooktop and a rather large, rather large oven. Let me open up this uh, drawer here. Let me see what's inside. And it has this little plop down drawer right there and then a couple big ones right under it. Let me first of all move over the uh, sink covers. That's a plop down drawer, a little tiny one. And these are pretty large. These are good size. And you get a couple more drawers on this side. Very nice. I'm going to show you some close-up. That, that only went back about a quarter inch. <laughs> Not very useful. And some more storage up here. And of course on the left yeah, is a nice area where you can put some cans and packaged food items. And the microwave. You can't live without a microwave. I guess not. I don't know. I don't use my microwave very much. And there's that storage on the left. You can make it into a closet or whatever you want, but you can also have it as part of your larder. Uh, put some food products in there, or some clothes, or some towels, whatever you want. And there's a shot of the microwave. I didn't open it up because most of you know that these have are pretty much all the same. And there's the three burner cooktop. Very nice. And that beautiful double bowl stainless steel sink. And that's a little pop up device. So, so you can plug in your electrical devices and your USB powered devices. On the sofa, they have some uh, USB connections and uh, an AC plug, and also an area for two cups. Very nice. And they have these little funny little zebra sort of pattern, black and white pattern, wood pattern, unusual. I'm going to pan from the right to the left and there's some storage above uh, those nice easy chairs. I'm going to enjoy the easy chair just for a second to show you how nice it is. I'm uh, getting a little chubby. I lose some weight this summer. And there we am, enjoying it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm going to pan to the right. There's that uh, electric powered uh, furnace, little heater. It's mainly decorative, but it puts out a little bit of heat for those cool mornings. A little bit of storage there. They just put netting in front because those storage areas are only like about three inches deep. And to the right, you got the paneled, uh, very nicely paneled refrigerator. I really like it. I like that paneling. It adds a nice dimension uh, to the refrigerator. And of course, it's AC and propane. And to the right is a storage area. More storage for your food products. Or your clothing, whatever you want. You can put whatever you want in it. It's your choice. You decide. It's your travel trailer. You decide what to put in there. A lot of storage area. And of course, there's the uh, fuse box. Another shot of the uh, fake fireplace. And of course, that netting, spongy cord. Nice TV. And this is a perfect area to charge your uh, devices. And to the right is your DVD player, Bluetooth uh, stereo system. Even has HDMI connections. It's a very nice system. And you have your Furion TV and, and a nice little speaker system. What's not to like? Let me open up the refrigerator for you and show you the inside. Voila! has a freezer on the top and plenty of room, I think, on the bottom. So what do you think of my videos? I'm trying to give you as much information as possible. I'm not a salesman. I'm not making any money doing these videos. I only do it because I'm in the market for a travel trailer, and I really, really like this one. Let me show you how this little window works. It has beautiful valances, nothing too... Uh, austere or too ostentatious. Let me open it up. I twirl it to the right. Yes, even if I can, I can do it, you can do it too. As these jealousy style windows. I do not like these, uh, you know, these shades, these accordion shades either on these little strings. I'd rather have some sort of a roller blind, something uh, nice 
Uh, but, you know, that's what they're offering you. Nice flooring. It has a little plastic toilet right there. And uh, there's some storage right there. So you can put your TP, your various chemicals, uh, maybe some linens, whatever you want. And there's your Max Air Fan. You can get one Max Air Fan, or as another option, you can have two Max Air Fans. I would love to have two Max Air Fans. So you're going to read this, but the... But the second, the last thing there, I say, I hate plastic sinks. And yes, I do hate plastic sinks. There's a plastic sink. I don't like plastic sinks. It'd be nice to have a stainless steel one. That's where you could put your cup, your toothpaste, and your, you know, toothbrushes. And there's some, a nice little mirrored medicine cabinet. Very nice. Let me open up that for you. And you can check it out. Plenty of room for your stuff. Your cologne. Your toothpaste your brushes. And there's a GFCI protected uh, interface for your electrical devices. And of course this has AquaView shower miser system. Saves you a lot of water. It basically controls the uh, flow of uh, water and makes sure it's heated to the appropriate temperature and when it's ready, you know, you can take a shower. So it saves you a lot of water, especially if you're boondocking. There's a nice little mesh area where you can put your stuff. Because if you put it on the shelf while you're traveling down the road, it's going to fall down. But that mesh should uh, keep things in its place. Let me open up this cabinet for you. And plenty of storage, again, for your items. Uh, you know, be they toilet paper, you know, linens, towels. Yeah, there's the AC control, your heater control. Let me walk down this hall and go into the master bedroom. To the left is uh, that little slide out, very nice slide out, a uh, little uh, area where you can put your clothes and odds and ends, and, uh, and they even have storage above the bed, so you get quite a bit of storage on this unit. And to the right there, you have some more storage, a shirt, jacket, closet, and uh, both sides have a little tabletop. The left side is the only side that has uh, connections, which is unusual. And that's where you can put that second Max Air Fan if you fill out the option. And you check that box. Again, that's that closet uh, in the slide out. And there's handles. I just want to show you some of the woodwork. And there's a charging center, AC, USB, and 12 volt. Very nice. What do you think of these pillows? I like them. They're beautifully designed, nothing uh, insane. And I pulled out the drawer right there so you can take a peek. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. And there's a little shirt and jacket closet. And up there you can put some odds and ends. Or you can put your ends and odds in there. It's up to you. Quite spacious. And that's where you can put your TV. It has the antenna connections and your AC receptacles. And this is pretty solid. It's not some plastic thing. It's a little spot where you can put... Make sure to lock that door. So I want to thank the folks at Explorer USA RV Super Center in Fort Worth, Texas for allowing me to shoot this video. They are the nicest people in the universe. This was a review of the Flagstaff Microlite 25 RKS. My name is Jesus Manuel Mena Garza. I greatly appreciate that you're watching my video. Thank you very, very much. I do travel, photography, and RVs. Please like, subscribe, and share. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.